today on the channel. Should you use a dispatch company if you have your own authority? So, I'm seeing a lot more, uh, a lot more people, a lot more companies, or a lot more hot shots. They're becoming owner operators under their own authority. Uh, that means under their own MC number, and they're outsourcing the dispatching portion of it. And I, I, I have a couple issues with that. Just a couple. First and foremost. I think dispatching is the most important thing you could get good at. Why? If you're a bad dispatcher, your business goes down the drain. And so that also means if you hire a bad dispatcher, your business will probably go down the drain. Right? You'll be sitting around. You don't know if it's slow. Um, you don't know if there's no freight. You don't like. So that's why I would really say if your goal is to hire a dispatch company, like I said yesterday, just so that they could do your carrier packets for the first couple months, and then after that you'll do much less of them, then. That's, that's a different conversation, but to actually be loaded by a dispatch company and having your own authority, I don't, I don't know if that makes sense later on. So dispatching is really important and like only you know if it's going to fit on your training, right? Because, because no matter how good of a description you give to a dispatcher, it's hard for them to picture in their head. And sometimes, I kid you not, I've booked loads that when I was leased under, uh, they didn't think it would fit. And you just have a, like, like, it's like Tetris, there you go. Dude, it's honestly just like Tetris, I swear. So you know how Tetris is like the rectangle like that? Pretend like that's your trailer, you know what I mean? And so obviously you have certain limitations of where, um, and so like it's falling down, right? So the front of the trailer is at the bottom and so the Tetris piece falls down, right? And you arrange it. Okay, it's just like that, I kid you not. The less gaps you have, the better off you'll be. And, and could you imagine playing Tetris where somebody else tells you where to put the piece and you don't know what it looks like? You don't know what the Tetris board looks like, and they're telling you, hey, put it here. Uh, you could see how it would become difficult. So that's why I strongly, strongly recommend get good at dispatching and try to do it on your own. Outsource all the other not important things. Outsource compliance, outsource maintenance, outsource I don't anything else. But this is the most important part. First of all, because you're the face of the company. So when you're talking to a broker, you go, hey, good morning, I'm calling on your load. Um, my name's Alex, I'm the owner, whatever. That's what you say. I'm, the, I'm a single truck owner operator. That's what you tell them. But when it's a dispatch service, it's kind of like, well, we're loading him and we're... And speaking of which, right, moving on. Another reason why um, I don't think dispatch services are that great. I'm hearing brokers don't like them. And here's why. Essentially, a dispatch service is a second broker, but with, with, less, with less people. A broker can post it on the board and hundreds if not thousands of companies can call on. A dispatch service books a load and could technically post it on their load board, which is offer it to their trucks. And so it's the same thing. So brokers are getting more and more frustrated because it's essentially double brokering. That's the way, it could, like, that is the optics on, on dispatch services. So I get that maybe it's cool because dispatch services have no overhead. You know what I mean? You just charge 
eight to ten percent, whatever, um, you charge them five or five to ten percent on every load you book. And so, technically, if you get really good at it, sure. But think about the massive amounts of volume you'd have to do. And so, one, why outsource? Don't outsource the most important part of the business. Outsource the like the least important part. So don't outsource, number one. Number two, brokers don't like them. Number three is like, think about how much a person would have to, like how much volume a person would have to move for it to be worthwhile for them. Just think about it. So let's say 5%. A hotshot truck can do $15,000 gross a month, roughly. Um, average average is about 15, like 13 to like 17, but let's call it 15. So 15,000 bucks a month, average hotshot can do. 5% is 750 bucks. Okay? So if you're a, if you're thinking about like, oh, I'll just load other trucks, just think about that. $15,000 worth of freight, you get 750 bucks. And you know how much work it is to book $15,000 worth of freight? Unreal. Right, and you gotta know your numbers too if you are interested in opening a dispatch service. You make 10 phone calls, you probably talk to three or four brokers, you probably book one load, and there you go, and that's that. And so then work your way backwards. So to book $15,000 worth of load, average load, average load probably pays, I don't know, 1,500 to 1,800 bucks. So you're probably booking, um, you know, eight to 12 loads between eight to two, so call it 10. So 10 loads, that means that's, that's you gotta talk to 40, 50 brokers, that means you're probably making five or 600 phone calls. So it's not profitable. And so I, I, I really think it's, it's, it's a lose-lose type of relationship. And obviously some people make it work, but it's not, they make it work not because that's the only thing they do. You know, some people have their own trucks, some people have their own authority, and so they lease under people. But I really say, I, I really do want to say that I, I don't think it's worth it. I really don't think it, it's not. Because, you know, because it's just, because of those three reasons particularly, you know. You, be the face of the company, you know. You're the face of the company. Do the most profitable thing. You know, outsource all the non-essential non -essential stuff. Brokers aren't fans of dispatch services, I can tell you. And at the end of the day, it's not profitable for them. So that they're, and since it's not profitable for, for them, they probably won't stick around. And so you'll just find yourself always switching dispatch services. And so that's why it makes sense. Just get good at dispatching. Practice, practice, practice. Hey, good morning. I'm calling on your load. Uh, it, it's it's very like the most important thing. The most important thing I can tell you about dispatching, if you're calling on loads, is don't waste their time. That's the most important thing. You have a job to do. Your job is to find out about the details on this load. That's all that matters. Don't don't call in and say, "Hey, how's it going? How's the weather? What do you, you think about the game?" You're not buddies. It's not your girlfriend. It's not your mom. Nobody cares. You know what I mean? So focus on the important stuff if you're gonna dispatch your own freight. Hey, how's it going? I'm calling on this load. How big, how tall, how wide, whatever. Um, how much is it paying? When does it need to be picked up and delivered? That's This is the important things you need to focus on when you're dispatching. And you just do that a hundred times a day. Hey, good morning, good afternoon. Uh, my name's Alex, I'm with Toe Piglet, whatever. Boom, 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 I'm calling on your load. What, how long? When does it pick up? When does it deliver? Any flexibility on the rate? Any flexibility on the delivery date? Can I add a partial with this? Is this dedicated or is this LTL? All of that stuff. And then over time, you'll like always fine tune. Maybe this is like the sales pitch in me because when I was in sales, they always had a pitch, you know? And so you want to fine tune, you want to fine tune what works best, right? And if it does, who knows? Maybe for some reason for you, it may may work. It may work when you ask them about the weather. I don't. I doubt it. I doubt it because they're gonna be like, "What do you want?" The broker's gonna be like, "Dude, what do you want? What's your question?" I've had that happen. What's your question? What do you want? And I'm. Uh, uh, um, uh, I was wondering if you could do like a buck fifty on the load of miles. No, we can't do that. Oh, uh, okay, sorry. And you just lost time. Another load could have come out. You could have made ten other phone calls. 
this is why I think I doubt that it would work you know asking them random questions and weather and games and whatever but but that's not the point of the video this is a dispatch video okay those we're working on <laughs> mm. uh, so this is dispatch service video and I think maybe at first there's a lot to grasp you can try it out but later on down the road absolutely get in the habit of doing it yourself all right guys that's gonna do it for today's video let me know in the comments below Let, let's make this an open I want these videos to like trigger a conversation or a discussion about the topic right I, if you guys adamantly disagree that you should use a dispatch service let me know I am absolutely open-minded I don't think it'll work but I'm not like it's not a hard and fast rule where I won't change my mind excuse me so let me know down in the comments below and I will see you guys tomorrow peace